Hello, Andy here from Living in Weymouth. Now today we're at Northern Station and we're gonna be taking the steam train down to Swanage, but we're not gonna go that far. We're only going one stop because we're getting off at Corfe. We're gonna be looking around the castle and also around Corfe Village. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump on. If you are parking at the station, it costs four pound for 10 hours. It's a short walk to the station to buy your tickets. You'll pass this playground and a sign showing you the way to go. If you are interested in the mining museum, this is where you can gain entry for a minimum contribution of two pounds per person. Just after this is Northern Station. Maintained by a group of volunteers, this station looks simply stunning. It really does have that nostalgic feel to it. We were only travelling one stop from Norden to Corfe Castle, so the tickets were nice and cheap at £3.50 each return. Services run between Swanage and Norden every day from April to October, with up to 16 trains a day in each direction, depending on the season and the day of the week. Check online timetables on the day you're travelling. Before long, the amazing sound of the steam train approaching could be heard. At the back of the train is the Pullman observation car. For an extra supplement, you can ride in here and enjoy extra large windows to take in the view. Now, if there's one thing I like about these trains, well, let's check out these slam doors. Beautiful. Right, it's 12 o'clock, off we go. After just a couple of minutes, we arrived at Corfe Castle Station. Before we left the station though, we had to watch the train depart. And yes, the steam engine is going backwards. This is because at Norden Station, where the train stops and goes back the other way, they're not able to turn the engine round, but are able to get it to the other end of the carriages. Just like Norden, Corfe Castle Station looks amazing and has that nostalgic feel to it. Just look at that ticket office. Well, as we're walking towards, we can actually see Corfe Castle, which is just up there. At the bottom of the castle is the Ticket and Information Centre. On-peak tickets are £13 for an adult and £6.50 for a child. Under fives are free. Off-peak are slightly less. National Trust members can get in for free. Corfe Castle was built by William the Conqueror soon after the Norman conquest of England in 1066. Oh dear, it's a long climb.
It didn't take too long to get up to the top, but if you are planning on walking to the top, I would advise wearing suitable footwear. Once at the top though, you can see for miles, and if you get the timing just right, you'll see the train coming back from Swanage. Well, after walking all the way down to the bottom, it was time to check out the local shops. We had some lunch and then headed back to Corf Castle Station just in time to catch our train back to Norden. Notice how the engine is now facing the correct way. Platform 1 for the 1423 service to Norden. As we pulled out of the station, we got to see one last look at Corf Castle. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. And if you like content like this, then why not consider subscribing? Thanks for watching.